Okay, here's a short little video of my new custom sump and the plumb job that I did on Saturday. As you can see, we have an M1 pump up through a one inch ball valve. Then it tees off over into a three-fourths check valve up to a three-fourths ball valve up into my return. Then the other side goes through a 90 to a Y check valve to a CPEX ball valve and up to the drain. Sorry, return. And for my drains, you can see I went one inch union to 90 to pipe into 90 into the custom sump. Then I have a brand new skims protein skimmer. It's the DC-163. As you can see, this is the third day, and it's almost already broken in. As you can see, I already have foam almost all the way to the top. And the chamber down below is maybe a quarter way opened. For my refugium, I have about six trays of refugium mud. Miracle mud or whatever you'd like to call it and then I have a lot of chato with some live rock holding it in place As you can see that Then I have a little macro light 15 watt I'm upgrading it to the new maxi spec select a 35 watt algae grow light that will be coming in soon Over here is the eShop IV doser which is hooked into my container for my alk and my calcium and then in the far back I have my ATO auto top off container which is hooked directly into my RO line which goes into the garage and in the very very back is my dual media reactor one's GFO one's carbon and that is about it, folks. That's how my system is plumbed and ran. And you can hear how quiet it is. You can barely hear it. You can't hear either the pump from Ecotech run or the skimmer run. All you can hear is the water trickling down back over here.